Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to let you know that I recorded this video a minute ago. I want to say back in May. Yeah, if there's something that's, you know, outdated, that's probably why. So yeah, hopefully this is the last time I'll have to do this. And the last time you'll see me like, you know, saying something was recorded a while ago, but it's only coming out now. I'm seriously going to try and get things out on time. But yeah, all right, that's all I wanted to say. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I don't feel like watching anime. This is a story time, a little story time. I was instinctively inspired by anime. So the final project is going to be... Hi y'all, welcome back. It's your boy. Um, and it's me! Uh-huh. Your girl, Katrina, in uh -huh. the back. Yep. Yep. Doing the things that I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Correct. 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 Anyway, it's been a while, I know. Uh, haven't really been very active on the channel. Uh, specifically, like I, I definitely took no parts in Attack on Titan for part two. Two things, uh, that for, I, I recorded episode one and it just, it did not go well. So I'll just leave it at that. Just, I wasn't very happy about it. It did not go well. Mostly technical difficulties though. Nothing, nothing too serious, but uh, there was that. And then that one episode with, uh, You know what I'm saying? Um, that one was really, that one was really tough for me to, for me to get through. So the ending of this show is really just bleak. It's a great show. Don't get me wrong. It's still, it's still goaded, goaded. It's just like, man, I don't really feel nice reacting to it. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it just doesn't feel good reacting to Attack on Titan right now. Cause it's, it's, it's not high. It, the shit is just sad. Like, let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? But, um, shout out to this comment that, you know, was actually asking for the Attack on Titan reaction. Sorry, I didn't reply to it. I was kind of embarrassed, but you know, I appreciate the support. Shout out to you. Uh, shout out to Sammy and Nancy, all of them, you know, fellow reactors, you know, supporting me and shit. Shout out to all y'all, everyone that's been supporting, supporting little old me, you know what I'm saying? Even though I <laughs> have not been supporting myself on the channel, I like, I really thought once I hit a thousand subscribers, I was gonna be in it, like getting that money. I have not gotten a paycheck from YouTube yet. You know what I'm saying? Like it just hasn't happened, but you know, it's all good. On top of just not feeling like reacting to Attack on Titan in general, like I've been, I mean, if you've, if you've subscribed to enough content creators, you, you'll hear the word burnout a lot. And that's, that's definitely what's been happening with me with reactions. And I mean, a lot of it is self-inflicted because I just don't see things through um, when I do them and I just, I get very ambitious and then I just, it, it's just animes piled up, piled up animes that I just haven't reacted to or I haven't edited, you know what I'm saying? Like Jujutsu Kaisen, I have like a whole batch of episodes that I have not finished editing because I was in the middle of, well, okay, that one, fair, I was in the middle of a move, and anything that was dropped in that period of time was just, it was it was just hard to bounce back from, but other than that, I've been reacting to other things that I just haven't edited, or right, this is, you know, it's, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm burnt out, and aside from that, I don't think I've gotten to this point yet, but I know a lot of reactors probably get to the point where they're just like, I don't feel like watching anime. I'm burnt out from watching anime. I'm definitely not burnt out from watching anime. Like I watched the rest of the season of Attack on Titan. I just didn't react to it. And I think that was a healthy choice for me. You know, I'm really enjoying Spy Family right now. One Piece just dropped a fire episode. Almost done with uh, Ranking of Kings. I've thoroughly been enjoying that. I'm watching it with her. So that that is easily goaded. I don't know if I haven't finished it yet. So I don't know if it's like done done or if there's a season two coming but so far shit is great great storytelling so all, all that to say i'm definitely not burnt out from anime i'm more burnt out from reacting to anime because i i do want to enjoy the anime and sometimes i feel like oh i gotta get in front of the camera today or oh i gotta i gotta finish editing that and it's just very boring like sometimes i'll have like a fire reaction like a like a super hype episode and i'll get like super hype to edit that it just doesn't happen often you know what i'm saying but yeah, there's like so many anime i just haven't finished or i haven't gotten to because i want to react to it on the channel a lot like b stars i haven't finished 
even though that's one like that's one of my favorites from 2020 like i really was excited for season two haven't finished it akudama drive loved that series put out one reaction to it i recorded all the episodes i watched put out one reaction for it haven't finished it i'm on episode 10 and a lot of the oldies too like I, cowboy bebop i didn't get a chance to watch the live action because i told myself i'm gonna react to cowboy bebop on the channel i'll watch that the anime finish that before i watch the live action because I was, I was pretty hyped for the live action and i'll get into that i'll get into that but yeah, I just ha I've watched two episodes of the live action and I've watched four episodes of the anime. And th there's that, there's Full Metal Alchemist, there's so many like classic anime that I didn't get to watch as a kid because I didn't have the, the, the access to it or I just wasn't interested in it as a kid, but that I want to watch on the channel because I mean, they're classics, you know what I'm saying? But like, I'm starting to feel like I, I, I can't do certain things and I don't like that. So, and maybe I'm rambling right now, but it is what it is. I'm not saying I'm stopping reacting. Definitely, I'm, I'm not going to stop reacting, but when I started this channel, there were a lot of reasons for it. First of all, a lot of friends told me I would be good at the whole content creation thing and the YouTube and whatnot. I do have like a film degree, well, kind of. <laughs> I have studied film for four years, five years of my life. So like I had the technical ability to do it as well. Like it, but that being said, another reason I, I started my YouTube channel is because I wanted to get in touch with anime again. Cause I think in high school, I, I started watching Naruto. That was in like, that was actually elementary school. I started watching Naruto. I was watching that bitch on YouTube, bro. When they, when they, when they had the parts segmented and shit. Oh, that was, those are the good days. <laughs> If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Those, those are the glory days. I watched that bitch on YouTube. Then I was just like, you know what? Let me get on Bleach. Binged Bleach, caught up, caught up to the manga. And then I, I actually binged One Piece in high school. Back That was back when they had like 500 episodes. Now they've got like double that. So all that to say, I, I was very much into anime back in the day. And then I came to college and like, I still was watching anime. I don't know, I, I didn't feel that connection to it. And I felt like, Maybe I was outgrowing it. Maybe like I would still watch it, but like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I never, I, I wasn't feeling like I could like express my love for it. And then like Cannon Busters came out and I was just like, black people in anime, I gotta support. Like people have been telling me to start a YouTube channel. So I was like, you know, let, let, let me try it. You know, let me try it. So I tried it and then I, I never, that never came out. It wasn't until the pandemic when everyone was on like TikTok and everyone like anime is just rapidly becoming more mainstream. I felt like comfortable to express that, express that love for anime. So I wanted to do that through the channel and I wanted to connect with people like me who really just love anime instead of just like, you know, watching people. Cause I've been watching anime content creators on YouTube since, since I was in middle school. Like I've been watching King of Lightning, for example, since 2011, like all that to say, this YouTube channel was also a means for me to personally connect to the anime community. And I think I've done that. And in that I would try to, I want to try and network with people as well as a filmmaker, finding people like me who like anime and also are passionate about like live, live actions, for example, um, I wanted to connect with. And I think I'm at that point in my, you know, YouTube career where I can diversify my content. That's another word that you guys would probably hear if you've subscribed to enough content creators. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tell y'all a little story. This is a story time, a little story time, a little story time. Y'all don't get to hear me talk like that. Y'all get to see me scream and get hyped to anime. Y'all don't get to hear me talk. Y'all probably don't care. But either way, I was in, I was in, I was in college and we had an assignment. I don't even remember what class this was. I don't remember what this was for. All I remember is that the assignment was like, pick some people that you're inspired by creatively. You know, what inspires you, your, your content, the content that you make, the art that you make, what inspires that visually or conceptually. And I could not think what the hell, like, I consumed so much content, but I, I couldn't like all of that content. I would look at mine and I would look at theirs and I'd be like, 
I'm not pulling anything from that. I don't even remember what I put on the page. I think around that time Atlanta started. So I put Hiro Mirai on as something that, you know, maybe I inspired to be like, like I love his cinematography, him and Donald, like how they um, work together to create like really, you know, abstract surreal shit. Like it's really dope and it looks beautiful. Um, but even then I'm just like, I love to consume it, but is it really like, inspiring the art that i create it's inspiring me to create maybe but i don't know if it necessarily like inspires like the visuals and the concepts that i come up with and i was really stumped because here like the rest of my classmates just going i feel like you i feel like the assignment was to name like 10 of them i could barely put three on the page and I feel like even the three I put on the page, like I, I was, it was just like a cop out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I put, I feel like at the time I felt like I was really inspired by like what my peers would do, like what I'd see them do. And then I'd be like, okay, that's what I'm supposed to do kind of thing. But really creatively, that's not what it was. That's not what it was. And it wasn't until like a few the, a few years later, I was filming, I was helping, uh, I was helping my boy, Steven, shout out Steven. Um, with his, his thesis film, right? There was this point where our subject, it was a documentary. So our subject was talking about his experience and I believe he was talking about how he had lost his grandma. Yeah, oh wow, it's, wow. I actually remember the scene. Like it literally just all came back to me. He was literally talking about how he lost his grandmother. Then he lost his father and then he lost his mother. Maybe not in that specific order, but he lost those three people like almost back to back and it was like a really emotional scene right the shot that i had was something like it looked something like this maybe like close up but it was from like this angle right i don't know i just did that instinctively right we showed the footage that we got to our professor and our professor was just like i mean he didn't curse but like he, he was just like who the fuck got this shot who, who, why would you why would you not record his face in that emotional moment and I, I remember looking at Steven like, and he just kind of smiled. He didn't even look back. He just smiled, not so as if not to give it away. But I, I did. I, I didn't offer up my name. I didn't offer up my name to say like, yeah, I was the one that sh that shot that. I'm sorry. Like I just, I just kept it pushing, bro. And I was embarrassed. I was just like, duh, that makes sense. Like he's emotional. We want to see his face. And it wasn't until years after that that I realized. I was like instinctively inspired by anime because anime does that a lot, especially with like male characters, because it's this whole what I what I, at least what I have uh, understood or perceived from it. What like the cinematography tells me is that you know what? Fuck it. I know exactly the scene to show you. Um, shit. This might be shit. This might be spoilers. I can't even say it in front of her. I'll just edit it in the video, but spoilers for about midway through One Piece, so around like 400 to 500 range. Spoilers for that. I'll just put the clip in. <laughs> so yeah, you, you see that, right? At first, it's just his back and he's talking like, he's talking like, you know, he's, he's scolding him, right? Then the camera pans around and he's bawling his eyes out. You know what I'm saying? So I think what I perceive from the, the cinematography there is that they're trying to get us to think, oh, this person is trying to be tough or this person is putting on a front. 
and the front like is like I'm not showing you I'm crying I'm, my back is turned and then it's like this emotional reveal and it's 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 satisfying when I see it in anime because it's just like wow I didn't expect you to cry but here you are crying you know what I'm saying and of course not like if you've watched enough anime you've you've learned to like expect that but at the same time like it still hits you know what I'm saying <laughs> ボロのせいだ。傷つくのが怖いのか。しかもよ。ええ。けど男でもねえ。てめえはただの腰抜けだ。もう大丈夫だ。薬の副作用で進行し続けていた細胞の死滅を調合した解毒薬が止めた。今回は助かったぞ。それと情報です。つい今しがた畑かかしと渦巻なるとの so that was just something like it that is so you go from the assignment to that shot that i did for that documentary to years later real like putting it all together and realizing anime is what has creatively inspired me but I, I i didn't think of it that way because it's two different mediums you know what i'm saying it's, it's film versus animation so it, it just it never like clicked to me that that is what ex inspired me and maybe 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 it did at some point but i wouldn't think that it was a viable option you know what i'm saying like i wouldn't think that i could put that at, as an answer at the end of the day cinematographers work on anime cinematographers work on gaming it's fits a audio visual medium there are cinematographers you know what i'm saying that's just it it is what it is so that's the end of the story time all that to say is that now i feel like i'm in a place where i have kind of connected with the community and now i want to do i want to bring like that side of me to my channel and kind of take myself back to school a little bit so yeah i think it's time to embrace that so what i'll be doing is an anime study there are things in anime that stick out to me that that are kind of definitive of anime so I want to see if I can take things like that and do like a case study and see if I can, one, succeed in pulling off the shot, <laughs> first of all, because <laughs> I don't have much of a crew where I live, you know what I'm saying? And two, if it translates well, it's just like a little, a little study. You know, people may have done the shots that I have planned already, you know what I'm saying? But I want to do it for myself because this is the first time that I feel like I'm exclusively or specifically doing something that I want to do does that make sense i don't know is that is that too serious that might be too serious i don't know but that's how i feel that's how i feel i feel like this is like a, a very much a passion project and it's it's an ambitious one at that i hope it all works out i'm probably not gonna upload this or edit this until i've done a few shots already but yeah that's essentially what i'm gonna do over the course of the next few weeks is just study that and like see what happens and i'm gonna document it and that's where like the channel update kind of comes in is that i'm going to document and vlog this process and it'll be content for you you guys will be able to see what i come up with and then by the end of it my plan is to kind of work this entire study into like a final project like i said i'm taking myself back to school so the final project is going to be an anime opening like last year i did a couple anime amv type edits 
And honestly, even though it was kind of like my first time, I mean, I've done music videos, you know, I've done music videos before. When you hold about paper, not worry about hating, they're giving me negative energy, and I just sent back the finger, gonna have a play, I'm flipping off the fence like it's painting on Vega. Nigga that can say that I'm regular Bitches hitting up my cellular Music, money, and etc Finna run this shit forever Cause all my niggas finna level But it was my first time Kinda, I don't know Tackling it from like An anime perspective On the editing side So it was just like Huh Even though it's the first time I'm doing this I enjoy it And I think I'm I think I'm pretty good at it So I was just like I don't Where was I going with that? <laughs> oh, that's where I was going with it Because I've done Like the editing side And now I'm gonna try and do Like do it from the, the the production side of things if i can put it to one i think i should be able to make like a dope kind of anime opening because i mean shit like look i don't want to hate on all of like the hollywood productions and their openings like it's still fire like game of thrones opening is fire arcane's opening fire but i'm just like the visual is too slow for me you know what i'm saying like don't get me wrong it's epic and epic kind of epic cinematic music and it's just always like it's always like some 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 3d model kind of moving you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like epic, but it's not hype. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to tap into like the hype side of it because I feel like, shit, we could do that in live action too, right? Like we could, we don't have to have like this serious like type opening. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. That's just something that I've wanted to experiment with as well. There's just, so it, it, it's, it's all coming together. Something I actually want to do, just passion project. So yeah, because I've done the opening editing, trying to do it now i just felt it like it made sense for that to be the final project the final outcome the final product so we'll see how that goes again i am diversing the content on the channel i'm not changing the content on the channel if that makes sense i'm still going to do reactions like if a new trailer for something drops like come on like i gotta check it out you know what i'm saying sure there might be a trailer that i, I don't check out sure but i mean still you know what i'm saying like i feel like there's some sonic news that's coming out Quick side note, Sonic Movie 2? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's it. Just thank y'all for fucking with me. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the journey that you take with me. Hopefully I can take you along on that journey. It's, this is very ambitious, so I hope it works out. But yeah, no, like, again, thank you for supporting. Like, I feel like I have not done much on the channel as my, I haven't I haven't been hungry on the channel since I hit a thousand subscribers and you know y'all still fuck with me I still I'm about to hit 1400 subscribers and I, I feel like that's crazy to me you know what I'm saying so thank you for supporting again sorry this went on way longer than I wanted it to hopefully I can edit it down y'all thank you once more for supporting me and yeah I'll see you guys next time on this journey peace out